a French drama about childhood sexual abuse and its toxic consequences, Little Tickles, Les Chatouis, is the kind of mess of a movie that wins you over with its sincerity and passion, as well as its bold bursts of humor. The film stars and is co-directed by Andrea Bascone, with Eric Metayer, based on her autobiographical one-woman show, and the result bristles with the intimacy and intensity of lift experience, you want to forgive all the missteps and moments of overreaching. Premiering in Cannes Uncertain Regards Sidebar, this admirable, risk-taking debut certainly has enough going for it to recommend distribution beyond French borders. Like Jennifer Fox's The Tale, much buzzed about its Sundance and upcoming on HBO, Little Tickles flouts narrative and stylistic convention in tackling an agonizingly tricky topic, the story's chronology is scrambled, the lines between reality, memory and fantasy blurred. And as with its American counterpart, those conceptual gambles alternately pay off and backfire, with engrossing, inspired stretches often followed by clunky touches that yank you out of the movie's grip. What finally distinguishes Little Tickles are the flashes of comedy that enliven it and relieve it from unremitting bleakness. Playing Odette, a 30-something dancer haunted by the trauma of being molested as a child by a family friend, Bescone is a warmly amusing, sharp-witted presence, she effectively anchors both the movie's lighter and darker moments, turning its tonal zigzagging into a considerable strength. Little Tickles opens with Odette dancing against a black backdrop, her furious interpretive move suggesting a gnawing anguish in need of release. The filmmakers then flash back to Odette as a prepubescent girl, Cyril Myrus. Middle-aged Gilbert, the excellent Pierre Deladon Champs, also seen in competition standout Sorry Angel, enters her room, closes the door and asks her to come to the bathroom with him so he can dress her up, like a doll. What happens next is mercifully left off-screen, the subsequent episodes are shown, tactfully. In one, as Gilbert drives Odette home from ballet class, the camera remains on him, framing the pedophile from above the waist in a subtly creepy low-angle shot but sparing us Odette's reaction to his. Abuse, a swapped successful family man, he's married and has two sons, Gilbert is the trusted best friend of Odette's parents, Maddo and Fabrice, Gallic mainstays Karen Viard and Clovis Corniluk. They think nothing, for example, of letting him take Odette on a weekend trip, where he molests her in the middle of the night as his kids sleep just a few feet away. Maddo, especially, is devoted to, and clearly a bit smitten with, Gilbert rationalizing his conspicuous attachment to Odette by saying she's like the daughter he never had. While Bescone and Metayer handle the abuse scenes with sensitivity, their hand is heavier in other flashbacks, notably those featuring a distracting Ariane Askeride as Odette's dance teacher, the filmmakers have perhaps not yet mastered the art of reigning in scenery gnashing screen bets. Another problematic strand consists of the adult Odette's appointments with a sympathetic therapist, Carol Franck. In the kind of direct dialogue between past and present that often works better on stage, Odette literally walks her shrink through her memories, an especially silly moment sets one of their sessions in the backyard of Odette's childhood home, the doctor's desk incongruously planted on the lawn. It's a pretty stale narrative device to begin with, and here feels glaringly gimmicky, as do other instances of forced whimsy, like Odette's idol Rudolf Nureyev leaping out of a poster and onto a stage, where he spouts Russian-accented quips between pirouettes. Much better is a more straightforward fantasy sequence, in which Odette and her childhood BFF Manu, the rapper Grinch, fulfill their dream of going to the US, where she joins a crumping circle in a parking lot. By far the film's most vital, affecting passages Trace Odette struggles to maintain her career as she numbs her pain with drugs, alcohol and casual sex. 
briskly paced, with striking hip-hop and contemporary dance sequences, rehearsals, performances, auditions, and a sprinkle of slapstick, this section pulls us into the protagonist's turbulent emotional state without resorting to addiction and promiscuity histrionics or cliches, it's during this phase that Odette meets Lenny, the very good Gregory Montel, a kind, funny osteopath who falls in love with her but never grasps the extent of her issues. The sweet build-up and swift breakdown of their relationship is both poignant and persuasive. Bescone is so engaging and nuanced, the actress makes Odette suffering palpable beneath every breezily delivered wisecrack, that she outshines some of the more seasoned supporting players. Fired, Lolo, particularly, struggles to find the right register, leaning so far into Maddow's shrewishness that she comes off almost like a middle-class version of Alice and Janney's monstrous matriarch from I, Tanya. At the same time, it's commendable that the writer-directors don't grant Maddow a moment of redemption. The film doesn't sugarcoat its damaged characters, nor does it drown them in tears of catharsis or confrontation, even in a final act featuring a courtroom showdown. Little Tickles grabs its excruciating subject forcefully, and grapples with it in a sometimes clumsy but unmistakably personal way. This is Best Own Story, and it's a testament to her fine performance and fierce vision that you don't forget that for a second. Venue, Cannes Film Festival, Uncertain Regard, Production Company, Less Films Do, Kiosk, Directors, Andrea Bescone and Eric Metayer Writers, Andrea Bescone and Eric Metayer, Adapted from the play Les Chichouis Ola Dance de la Calaire, Cast, Andrea Bescone, Karen Byard, Clovis, Corniluk. Pierre Deladon Champs, Gregory Montel, Carol Franck, Grinch, Ariane Askeride, Cyril Myris, Leonie Simaga Executive Producers, Francis Krauss, Dennis Pino Valencia and Cinematography, Pierre Aim Editor, Valerie Desang Music, Clement Ducole Costumes, Isabel Panetier Casting, Emmanuel Prevost International Sales, Orange Studio 103 Minutes.